Old Alabama Gardener on how to get rid of moles in your yard or garden. One day you go out into your garden or your yard and you see the ground raised up and little portions of the ground cracked apart and with all kind of little erratic uh, path, you know you got a mole working right there. Now let's get down here where we can see it from a side view kind of and you'll really be able to see the cracks and the raised mound going along there. Now I want you to look at the direction that he's going. He's going straight toward my compost pile. With all of the worms that I have in my compost, what is that mole's favorite food? Earthworms. But I don't want the mole to eat the earthworms in my compost pile. Now if you have moles in your yard or garden, uh, watch this and you're going to find out a good solution. You can buy this Tomcat Mole Killer at Home Depot and Lowe's. Inside the box you'll find a seal package and inside that will be a plastic tray with two imitation worms. Now I've already used one of the worms out of this package, but we're going to put the other one in this mole run right here. Now we're going to stick our knife down in the center of the mole run and when you go through into the open area below you will feel the, the resistance to the knife will get really light so you know you're in the mole run then. We're going to open up enough room to insert the worm without disturbing the mole run uh, very much. Now I could push the worm all the way down into the mole run, but then I really won't know if the mole gets and eats the worm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave just the tip of the worm sticking up out of the ground and I'm going to cover it back over just a little bit and then tomorrow I can come out here and look and if that tip of that worm is gone then I know that mole has eaten it and he is on his way to dying. Yeah, I pushed it further down in the hole than I planned to so I'm going to get it and bring it back up just a little bit. Now I'm going to cover the hole back up so that there's no light showing into it. Now I'm going to lay my knife with the tip pointing directly to the worm that I've inserted in the ground. And then tomorrow or the next day I will come back and look to see if the worm is still there or if it's gone. The knife tip will help me to locate the exact position of where I have inserted the worm. If the worm is gone, then I know that the mole pulled it on down into the burrow and ate it.